Yes, we stopped it. Nice work, Ys. Woohoo! Now you're my hero, Welkin. The Imperials are running off for now. Looks like we bought some time at least. Welks! Welks! <laughs> it's a boy! Martha had a boy! Oh my god! She, she gave birth in Dad's tank? Me too, Welkin. Yes, and without complications. They're both perfectly healthy. Good. That's fantastic. Now let's stay sharp as we head out of town. Sad day for whoever has to clean the tank. Oh, God. Two hours after the first shots were fired, Bruel was under Imperial control. I mean, but is anyone really surprised? Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Bruel would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. Fucking spoilers. And what do they mean without complications? We shot the fucking wall. <laughs> Alicia. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? Because Is they're not uh, imp Imperials. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Simba. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive. But I've also seen them help each other. Almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why I want to be a teacher. So that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? Welks, look. Martha fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. Cloaking bordering on a supervillain speech. Oh, he's adorable. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look. Thank you, Hayden. Eight hometown. months. <laughs> that was your hometown. Sunday. We'll come back home again. <laughs> yes. Someday soon. I know it. Wow. Chapter 3. Vassal Urban Warfare. Oh, this looks like a lot of, uh, cutscenes. In March of 1935, the Empire began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border. Okay. Then what happened? Maximilian, commander of the Gallian Maximilian. Invasion, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Damn, dude. Bruel's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. 
Rand Greece, Gallia's capital, a town secure and stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle Rand Greece, and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. Supporting Gallia's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. What? <laughs> We're staying neutral by conscripting Under everyone. It, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. As the conflict with the East grew worse, both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. So these are my new digs. Oh, my uniform. Are you fucking kidding me? Look at the size of this dude's room. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. The fuck? Flares, binoculars, a compass, and a map. Everything you need for a nice hike. Or combat. Welkin? Can I come in? Sure, it's open. Oh, you're already changed too. Let's see. She's seeing. Not bad, not bad. You look good, actually. So, how about me? Do I look alright in this? Convincing? Not at all. Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. Oh. You wear it like a pro. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. <laughs> look at her face. Is that your attempt at flirting, Welkin? Because, dude, look at her face. <laughs> Good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. No way! That plating on the back? It's like a coleopterid exoskeleton. Beetle Why are they fucking... T oh god, welcome, mate. They know what these, these uniforms Coleo look what? like. They're standard uniforms. They were in the military beetle? at school. They know what they look like. Why are they surprised to see what the other person's wearing them? Uh... Welkin? What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? Huh? Not just any bug. A rhinoceros beetle. King of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? Uh-huh. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very Welkin sort of compliment. Welkin needs help when it's floating. Tell me about and that's that when you turn around and say you're welcome. Since I met you. Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. What a chad. Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. What? <laughs> I plan to keep wearing it until I can get back to manning the ovens again. Um, I think you mean manning the ovens, Alicia? It's 2019, well it's 1940, 1935, Alicia. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. Let's get this bread! Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now. Capitan. Come in. Excuse me, ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee, Welkin Gunther, reporting for duty. Ma'am, Galleon Militia Enlistee, Alicia Melkiot, also reporting for duty. I'm Captain Eleanor Varat, commander of this regiment. They didn't even salute. Gunther, you're promoted to lieutenant. You'll Just be leader like that. Of squad seven now. Just like that. <laughs> Enlistee Melkiot, <laughs> you're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. Understood? Ma'am. What do you know? It is you. 
Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? Baldio? It's my cool uh, no idea that friends. You yeah. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. Pretty much all the officer and training boys are here just like you. You know each other? Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welcome was in science and I was in archaeology. They're all nerds. Shouldn't Welcome be in biology? Just look at us now. If he's talking about No archaeology or science. Looks like the two of us are studying more, I guess. Looks that way. It's good to see you. Why doesn't Thank he have you. to wear a dumb hat? That'll be all for now. There's a strategy briefing later today, but you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the post and in Randgrees. They'll be your new home. So get to know them. That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. Change equipment of you info on members of Squad 7. Who's in Squad 7? Dude in the middle? That's welcome. That's us. That's me. So we have Welkin. We have Alicia. We have Bridget Stark. And Largo. Armament. Gillian 1. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know. Okay. I'm glad we were here to see that. Command room. I can choose members of Squad 7 who will fight in combat. It's good to see you doing the rounds. Welcome. Hi. This is the command room. Use it to structure your squad. You will have access to both drafted and volunteer... I love how this motherfucker's seen like one taste of combat and he's already a fucking lieutenant. Now that I think of it, Squad 7 is still short on soldiers, isn't it? I'll explain how this works. This is the master list. The recruits have all been assigned classes based on their talents. I should probably touch on the five classes, just so we're clear. Uh. First off, you have the scouts. Just like the name suggests, they'll be your eyes. Their best asset is their mobility. They can go out, collect intel, then make it back safely. That, and a keen eye for enemies. A good scout can spot a man in tall grass from a hundred yards. That comes at the price of firepower. Their job is spotting enemies, not taking them out. Next up, the shock trooper. They're the ones to break through enemy lines and clean up. They offer excellent offense and defense. Yeah, I'm very as familiar with shock troopers, goes, thank you. They're as good as it gets. While they lack any specialized techniques, they also don't have any obvious shortcomings. Think of them as the least finicky unit in your squad, Lieutenant. After them, we have lancers, then anti-tank units. They're critical when facing armored targets. Their purpose is pretty self-explanatory. In most cases, they're the only way to stop a tank. What about a tank? Checkmate, Captain. They're also well shielded from explosives, which conveniently includes tank mortars. Sadly, they're slow and weak to gunfire. Their limited ammo could also be called a drawback. Changing gears, we have the engineers. <laughs> they handle supplies and perform combat support. They can restock other units' ammunitions, treat the wounded, even repair tanks on site. They can place sandbags for cover, disarm mines, repair towers, you name Build me Their a tank. Their actual combat skills are very low. Think of them as combat facilitators. Lastly, we have the snipers. They can shoot down targets from a considerable distance. You won't find better soldiers for marksmanship and range. They can hit what about a tank? I can barely see. Sniping rifles also come with scopes Sniping that work rifles. to augment a sniper's natural eyesight. Drawbacks include low mobility and defense. If the enemy gets them alone, they're done for. That should cover the basics. Go ahead and put a squad together now. There's room for 20, and you can swap units at any time. 20 people in a squad? All right, let's get. Oh, there's a lot of people. All right, who are we taking, boys? I I want to take, I don't know, two two of everything. 
Oh, they got like... They have stuff? Huh, this is... Monter... Monterly? Montley. All right, we take Montley Leonard. Hey, I'm Montley Leonard. How goes it? I hate him. 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 <laughs> Who else do we take? Let's see. Fancy's men. No, oh, I didn't want to add I'm you. Cherry Steinen, like with a J. It's silent, but um. Uh, yeah. Ugh, like finally. All right, see you fucking later, bitch. I don't even want you. All right. Metal allergy, claustrophobic, born leader though. Desert bread, fancies men. What is this fancies men thing? Having men nearby makes them happy, leading to enhanced accuracy and firing. I mean, that works, right? We could put her up with Montley. I'm Frisia, you're handsome. I know you'll take real good care of me. Thank you. I'll take it. Uh, country bread. Good buddy. Trooper hate, hate, hater. All right, let's get some. Uh, let's get some shock troopers. Kevin. Kobe. <laughs> he looks like a war vet. Hans. Imp hater. Mika. He's a pessimist. Vice. This guy looks cool as fuck. Child of nature. Paved roads feel strange and cold, leading to discomfort and lowered defense. Having allies nearby sparks a sense of responsibility leads to a natural boost in defensive ability. Hell yeah. We'll take Vice. The name's Vice Engelbard. Let's go kick this war in the teeth. Oh, I like you already. Um... Child of Nature, Lancer Killer. I feel like that'd be useful. They also hate imps. The name's Jane Turner. I'll do anything if it means putting holes in imps. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even like you, Dad. Alright, uh, Jan Walker. I feel like we can't have a Jan and Jane. Nils? Nils looks cool. City Kid, Camp Defender, Lone Wolf. Oh, he sounds cool. He looks like someone from JoJo. He's, for some reason, he's got he's got night vision, but he's wearing sunglasses. Hector, ooh, Hector looks cool. Elise Moore looks like someone you bully in high school. I kind of want to take Hector. Metal allergy. Proximity to metal causes acute rejection reaction that leads to a steady drain of HP. Okay. Likes Alexa Vice and Rosina. Oh, okay. My name's Hector Calvi, sir. I'm at your service from today on. Can we pretend that Walt is blind? I'm gonna add water and just make him blind. Uh, 
The name's Walter Nash, buddy. Pleasure to be working with you. God, the 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 time that they put into these characters is awesome. All right, we got Herbert, Homer, Ramsey, Nadine, and Claudia Mann. Homer, <laughs> neat freak, lonely, and a frail body. <laughs> He's such a twink. I'm Homer Perron, here to fight together with you until this war claims my life. Holy fuck, dude. Welcome aboard. <laughs> he is Arwen. <laughs> I'm just gonna call him Arwen from now on. Pollen allergy, dusk and bond. I mean, I think I think Ramsey's fine, right? I'm Ramsey Clement. Uh, hey. Uh, God damn it. And I guess Oscar and Catherine, right? Hey, I'm Oscar Baylor. Thanks for taking me on board. Hello, I'm Catherine O'Hara. Oh, we... I look forward to joining you all. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Alright, we done? Let's see it, we picked our people. For now, try adding more members until a squad of seven is 20 units. Ugh. Alright, need another seven. So, two more scouts. So we're not fucking taking Cherry. We'll take Susie. She's like the alter ego of uh, Alicia. Susie Evans, sir. I realize I'm inexperienced, but I'll do all I can. Who's the cute chick with silver hair? Which one? This one? Eddie Nelson? Shock trooper, country bred, born leader, panicky. Sure, we'll take you, Eddie. I'm Edie Nelson. Edie. Perhaps you've heard of me. I'm sure we'll get along swimmingly. I hate her. Okay, we should take Kobe. Name's Kobe Caird, boy -o. Looks to me like we're going to see a lot of each other. I don't want to take him. I need an adult. Let's see, we have a lot of scouts. We're good on shock troopers. Um, some more repair people, I think. Um, Herbert Nielsen is me. I mean, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll try. I love it. I'll right, we'll take Nate in too. Hello, sir. Um, How many lances do we have? Yeah, we should take like some lances. I like Nils. I'm Nils. Nils, Nils. Nils Dearden. I'll see you on the field. Hell yeah. Alright, we need one more. Who do we take, guys? Metal Gear Neil Solid. Hold on. Bug in a rug? I beg your pardon. Cozy places like oh okay. Hayens. Child of nature, impater. Hayne Salinger, reporting for duty, sir. <sighs> All right, I think we're done. We're gonna cut people, well, by the way. Feel like you've struck a balance. As time passes, we'll have more recruits to choose from. Oh, and all the recruits go through training together, so they're all ready for combat. They'll be at the same level as the rest of the team you've taken into the field. 
you can swap out members without the worry of losing the benefit of their experience. Trust in your own judgment and pick a team you know you can work well with. That should be enough to get you started. You can figure out the rest as you go. Let's get some combat, please. Wow. Squad leader's a lot of responsibility. Come to think of it, Faldio's heading up squad one, isn't he? He's like the he's cooler version of you. Now too. He is actually the cooler version of us. Training field. Welcome to your worst nightmare. I'm the guy who's gonna whip you lazy blobs into shape. Still, I can't work miracles here. No amount of drilling beats real combat experience. I want you all to go out there, kick some imp tail, and then show me what you learned. I'm just imagining him as um, the guy, like the, have you guys seen t uh, Attack on Titan abridged? I will train that experience I'm just imagining him as the drill instructor. <laughs> Level you bums up. But ah. don't go trying to hog all the glory. A squad's a team and we got no need for stars. Never trust the cool you. And level up by class. Scout level two. Scout level three. You get it? When the scouts level up, that means each and every one of them goes up that level. Huh. You hear me, maggots? Any of you think he's better than the rest of the team? Go home now! I love the voice All acting right. this. This is awesome. Now I'll show you lowlights how this whole thing actually works. It ain't complicated. First you go out there and fight. Then divvy up that experience here. Once the experience you cram into a soldier class clears a set amount, it'll level up. Picking which class to level up and when is your job as the squad leader. Um. Train all you want. I've got all day. I feel like scouts are going to be pretty... Can we just level all of them up? Sure. You're better than this. Push those limits. What do you mean I'm better than this? I literally leveled up everything, Good fam. Good work, maggots. You're one level closer to human. Oh. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the Lancers. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the snipers. Okay. Put some more into the scouts. And let's start work on... I know we're going to be facing a lot of tanks, right? Fight the bullet! No pain, no gain! Good work, maggots! You're one level... Alright, I guess we're done, huh? Got it? That's how training by class works. Now get out there and rack up some experience. Oh, and there's one more thing to add. He's gonna scream at us, isn't he? Sometimes no? leveling up a unit class will unlock a hidden potential in them. You can think of potentials as the natural abilities your Those abilities will form a big part of your strength in the field. So keep them in mind. Other times, leveling up a class will earn you clearance for a new order. Here, as long as we're talking about it, I'll teach you a classic. A real golden oldie. You learn evade boost. The order rises one ally's invasion skill. Orders are special commands. It doesn't take a genius to see that leveling up your soldiers is the... The soldiers... All that just from me working you... I just hope you maggots are ready for a real workout the next time I see you here. Uh, R and D facility. Here we go, boys. Uh. Welcome to R and D, man. What can I do you for? Uh, hey, bro. Huh? Wait, I know that insignia. You're Lieutenant Gunther, aren't you? I knew it, man. I've heard about you. That evacuation at Brule was just. Wow. Yeah, so many people died. It was Taking great. A tiny life in the middle of all that slaughter, man. Oh, Lieutenant, you're good people. You get all my respect and then some, bro. 
What's going on, Leon? I could hear you from clear across the hangar. Oh, Casey, check it out! It's Lieutenant Gunther! He's the man, man! <laughs> Sorry about him, Lieutenant. He's like this all the time, I'm afraid. Oh, but where that's are my great. Manners? I'm Chris Cherney. I'm training here as a mechanic. Dick Cherney? Okay. Oh, oh, and I'm Leon Schmidt. But just call me Leon, bro. I'm your boy. All right, Leon, bro. So, Lieutenant Gunther, what brings you down to R&D today? Tutorial. We do work here on weapons development, making upgraded weapons and... And that includes rifles and machine guns. We can even soup up your tank. Of course, research expenses aren't... Ch With rifles and other firearms, we'll mass-produce new models as they're developed. You won't have to worry about making enough for your squad. We'll outfit them. Thanks. For tanks, you can upgrade the baseline performance of the body itself, or develop optional parts that you can add on to tweak out its spec. Right. You can choose which option. Come in any time and make adjustments based on the needs of the operation at hand. You got it. Uh, body enhancement. Thanks to all that could be given the best body type you've developed. You said we're favor attack or defense, and alternate body types gives you a tank different. Improvements in terms of weak point. Blah, blah, blah. There are abilities to provide set size and blocks. You can decide how to fill the three by three block storage. Yeah, so pick the opponent puzzle the best for your personal combat style. Huh. Nightmare. Thank you for the follow. Let's develop some weapons. Uh, some rifles. Sure. Whew. Let's just boost everything, I guess. They're doing the Terminator theme every time we level up. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uniform upgrade. Make me look cool, bro. Oh. Oh. I wish I could just upgrade everything. Okay. I think we're done. Alright, I'll outfit the tank now. Uh, god, this is... Okay, let's change parts. We have nothing to change. Awesome. Alright, let's get out of here. Well, sir, was that helpful? Absolutely. We're working here. Ar That's real cool. Come again. Nope, no worries. Yeah, you That's cool. Book mode. I think we're done, right? Oh, we need to do this. I don't think we can do anything here. Yeah. We're good. Alright. Book mode. Alright. Try and do one more mission, and then we'll, uh... Re okay, never mind, the game crashed. <laughs> uh... Sit tight, friends. We leveled up so hard that the game crashed. One sec. Sega. Thanks, Sega. There we go. Hey, that's really cool, but uh, we got shit to do, man. Um, wait, hang on. Wait, it didn't fucking save? What kind of game doesn't have auto-save? It's 2019. 